Hey friends, Becky and Daly here. We are coming at you with a super fun project for you guys to do at home. We are making <laughs> microwavable puffy paint today. Woo! It's gonna be super fun and you get to use your creativity and a little bit of science yes. with our trusty microwave. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna tell you what you need. You're gonna need flour, salt, baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, mm -hmm. um, and water. And food coloring. Oh well, yes, and food coloring. You also want food coloring because that's what makes this color colorful. Duh. Yeah. The first thing we're gonna do is add one cup of flour. Becky, you wanna add a cup of flour? Love to. Into a big mixing bowl. Boom, that's perfect. Great. Then you're gonna take your baking powder and you're gonna do three teaspoons of baking powder. A teaspoon okay. is smaller than a tablespoon. That's true, sometimes I've mixed those up before. The baking powder is what is gonna help the puffy paint actually become puffy in the Ooh, microwave. Fun. And can then like we need, yeah, you can shake it up, and then we just need one teaspoon of salt. All right, here, Becky, then we just need to add enough water to make it the consistency of like a pancake batter. Go slow with the water, because you don't want to add too much. Yeah, so if, take it out. if you do add too much, you can add more flour. Oh, that's true. Okay, love it. Now we are going to divide this mixture into four different bowls so that we can make four different colors. Awesome. Awesome. We have four bowls full of our mixture. What's next? Now we are just going to add the colors. You can add any colors you like. We have blue, red, yellow, green, teal, and orange. A couple fun colors. So you could mix, you could, oh, you, yeah. is it really? The world is your oyster. Yes. So Get let's creative. let's create. Okay, we have taken each of our colors of puffy paint and put them into their own separate sandwich bags. Yes. These there are what we're we go. gonna use to paint. Cool. Okay, next, you take your puffy paint and you cut off a corner so that you can use it to paint. Mm. Okay. On your face. I'm super careful. So. And we gotta work fast. Boom. Beautiful. All right. Now that we have our sandwich bags, little corner snipped off, we get to paint. Let's paint. So you, this is where you get to be super creative. What do you can make? I make a, a sky scene, like a park or something. Like a sun mm -hmm. some grass. Oh yeah, because we have mm -hmm. Hmm, I'm going to make an underwater scene. I'm just gonna go opposite. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> I said I need to. I said it would be abstract. <laughs> okay, now comes the puffy in the puffy paint part. I don't know if I can really show you. I mean, it's tricky. It's tricky to show. <laughs> but, so now we're gonna take our pictures to the microwave, which we need to plug in, and we're gonna microwave our pictures for 30 to 45 seconds, mm -hmm. and the paint is going to puff up and dry immediately, and it will be very cool. So cool, let's go. Okay, we are going to put our pictures in the microwave. Let's start with Becky because I'm intrigued to see how her beautiful seascape will turn out. Here's the before. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with 30 seconds. All right, it's been 30 seconds. Ooh. Close. I think I'm gonna give it 10 more. that are a little bit wet, mainly over here in this corner. I wonder if there's something about the microwave where like the bottom corners don't quite get cooked all the way. Okay, one more time. We are here to tell you how to be successful. I'm gonna give it 15 seconds now. So far we are at a grand total of 55 seconds, so I guess it just depends on the power of your microwave. 
there's just some parts that aren't getting all the way um, cooked and there's some parts that are really cooked. If your microwave is like bigger or maybe more power, it might be able to get like the whole of the page. If your microwave is kind of small like ours is, you might want to like cut your paper in half or something because the paper just might be too big for the microwave. But some of it really did work. Look, that is hard and like puffy. Cool. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll try mine. We'll try a minute since we ended up going to 55 seconds with Becky's. Okay, let's see. Ooh, come on. Ooh. Pretty good. Kind of did the same thing that Becky did, or like some of the spots in the corner didn't get as cooked, but on the whole, puffy paint. That's pretty cool. Be careful because the paper is a little warm. Hmm, interesting. Guys, they turned out pretty good. I love it. Not all of it was totally dry, but you could experiment a little bit to see if maybe using a half a piece of paper would even it out, or maybe just using the center of the mm, paper or something like that. You could try some different things, but they are really cute. I really like my starfish. He's fun. What's your favorite part? Mm, probably my sun. I, sun I feel like the sun turned out the best. Nice. Well, this is a great project to try out at home. You probably have the materials, so it's a good summer day project for you. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video and to our channel because we have a lot of stuff that we are creating for you guys. We want you to see it all. Thanks for hanging out today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.